Hey y'all, it's Krista. So I was asked by Lori, Little Miss Sparkles, to do a, a pour for the Legion in Arizona that's going to be donated for the 4th of July. So I'm not gonna make this a 4th of July video, but um, I want to get it there in time for her. So, um, I love my sparkles. She bought my video two videos ago and she is a love. And if you don't subscribe to her channel, you need to because she's super fun. Um, so go check her out. And um, she's donating pieces and putting them in for an auction as well for the Legion in her area. And um, so she specifically asked me to do a red, white, and blue, but I'm gonna add a little bit of gold because she said, oh my God, mix makes the colors not bleed. And when she added white next to red, it didn't make pink. So we're gonna do this again today. And I'm going to do it on a big canvas, which is not what she does. She usually does smaller canvases. So we'll get Eric to get us down to the canvas and we will get started. Okay. So I am using a Blick Premier, and it's one of those deep edge canvases in a 20 by 20. And I have a few of these left. I mean, not a bunch, but they're kind of hard to get. So, um, you know, you get what you can get, and if you can't, you don't, right? because that's the way the world is right now, where if you can find it, you can find it, and if you can't, then you have to figure out how to work around it. So I'm going to use my usual silicone cup. I'm gonna do a straight pour, and I'm going to make it so that I'm not making pink with, with mix and using the red, white, and blue. So, um, I'm going to show you what I've used. I've used the Amsterdam Titanium White, and I've also used the Amsterdam Napathol Red Medium. I love this color, and I use this in my Texas painting that I did for my son almost a year ago. And then I'm also using the Modern Masters in the Venetian Blue. And, you know, when you can find it in the, in the quart size, OMG, it'll last forever. But inside of the white, I added an the Golden's Iridescent Pearl Fine, just to give it that special shimmer because, you know, white doesn't always have to just be white. So I'm going to start by using white and I'm going, and I know that I usually talk about locking it in, but I'm gonna lock it in in a different way today. I'm going to lock it in put in a little more white by putting the gold on top of the white. So we'll add the, oh, I didn't, I, I am using 24K, which, oh, I didn't show that. I'm using the DecoArt Extreme Sheen in the 24K. So because I have these two together, I can add the white first and then add the gold and then add the red because then I won't get pink. 
So I'm gonna add a healthy dose of red, the Napathol red. And I think I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put gold again, but just a little bit. And then put the white to lock it in. And then I'm going to add the Venetian blue. And I'm going to add a healthy dose of that. And then I can go into the white again. A healthy dose of that with the gold because I'm locking it in and reverse. And then adding the red. Healthy dose of that because I added the healthy dose of the Venetian blue. And then I'll do it in reverse. Of, no, you know what? I'm gonna put blue on top of that and hope I don't get purple. We'll see what happens. And then I'll use the white again. And lock it on the opposite side with the gold. And then end this cup with the red. And I think I'm just going to empty this red, the Napathol. And I found new cups because it was really hard to clean the other ones so I found new ones that I could actually clean easier. They're the Chinette ones. They're more sturdy and you know, whatever, whatever. So it didn't hurt my feelings to switch my brand of cups. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. I'm going to water down these two cups because I'm going to put the gold in the middle. We're gonna set aside the white. And this is gonna be my flow extender. So we'll add a little bit there and more than a little bit here because the cup, there's more in the cup. So I'll just Splashing it all over the place, y'all. I'm out of control. Okay. So I've got my flow extender, or I've got my puddle, and this is going to be my flow extender. I'm hoping to have no paint at the end. You know, white at the end and having an extra of that never hurts my feelings. All right, flow extender is perfect. All right, so we are going to pour this gold into the middle. So we have something to pour into. Scrape that off. Set that aside. And we're going to let her rip. I'm not even going to torch it because I don't think it needs to. Um, and as y'all know, everything was mixed with mix. Um, like I said, that Lori said before, it's like the magic potion of not of colors not mixing. All right, let's go, y'all. Squeezing my cup in. And 
can see how I'm not getting a ton of white in the middle, but it's just enough. I'm gonna tilt my cut back and bring it forward and tilt it and bring it forward and then catch it. And I had a 10 on the dismount. I'm leaving that as it is. I'm not even going to use my sticky stick. So, yeah, I'm getting cells along the side already. That's not hurting my feelings. I am gonna torch it now because I have stuff happening in here and I'd like it to keep developing. Y'all, you know, I haven't poured a successful pour in three weeks. I apologize for that, but you know, it's, it's hard to post something that I'm not happy with because it's, it just hurts my feelings. So I'm happy with this one. Um, okay, so I'm gonna move this over a little bit. We're gonna put this flow extender around it because it's ready to go. And it's just the Venetian blue because that's what I painted my edges with already. Go down here and scrape out my cup. Scraping out cups is my jam. Cause that means I don't have leftover paint because trust me, I have a bunch of it. Okay. Lori, I hope you like this. I hope it makes a lot of money for your legion. All right, so I'm gonna just spread that out. I've scraped so many paintings in the last three weeks that it's kind of embarrassing. You know, when you get in a slump and you're like, I want to just quit. Yeah, that was me two weeks ago because I was so sick and tired of scraping canvases. But you know what? My friends are amazing and they send me warm vibes and they tell me, hey, I haven't seen you in a while, what's going on? And then you make awesome stuff when you have the love behind you. All right, I'm never gonna tilt it or torch it. So I'm gonna tilt this out. We're gonna swirl it around and see what it wants to do. forgot how heavy these canvases are. I'm not going over the edge yet. I'm just swirling it around and seeing what the center wants to do because the center is kind of the boss. All right, I'm gonna take it off this corner. And before those cells fall off, I'm gonna bring it back. And then I'm gonna go off this corner because I can. All right, and then I'm gonna bring it back from there. And then I'm gonna spin it around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Because my center is all the way over here, 
I'm going to take it down to this corner next. And we're gonna bring it back from there. And we're gonna go down to this corner. And then we're just gonna move it around until it's where I want it to be. So I'm gonna spin it around and bring it back. Yeah, you must have control. Because if you lose control Your piece will be out of control. All right, I'm gonna bring it back this way a little bit because I'm loving what's going on. I know that I've got a gooby in here, so I'm gonna get that before I torch it. But I think I'm gonna leave it as it is right here. And I'll just scrape it right here. Get a little corner action going there. Get a little corner action over here. And I'm just gonna feed it off my glove over here. And let's see what's going on over here. Continue to scrape and then feed. And then scrape this way and feed it off my glove over here. Okay, I think I'm covered on all corners. I'm gonna get that goob out of there. I can still see it, it's kind of raised up. I can take my gloves off. I'm gonna grab my paper towel that I have down here and I'm gonna see if I can grab it up. because it was infecting things. And if I don't grab it, it's going to leave a bump on the canvas. All right, so I'm just gonna bring it down this way and that way. And it looks like it was intentional. Anywhere else? Were y'all seeing things that I wasn't seeing? No? Okay. Alright, we're going to give it a torch. I made a little bit of pink, but it's not the end of the world. The red, white, and blue is very prominent and purposeful. And I like that there's cells developing in this and that there's cells developing in that. And that's why I didn't tilt this off. So let me come get you and show you this close up. Okay, so we're gonna start over here I've got cell in cell action going on right here. That's awesome. Then we're gonna come over here and look at all these cells and how multicolored they are. It's pretty awesome. 
in my little corner. You know, I talk about how I don't like armpit corners, but sometimes they're so colorful that I really just want to leave them. Look at the red, white, and blue striations right in here, the lines. Awesome. And you go up to this corner and the transparency is amazing. Then you come over here and the little fingerlings are transparent and awesome. See what I mean in this corner? It's not done. It's going to develop. And the cells, really. And then you come into the middle. Wow. The fingerlings, the lines, the cells. So amazing. All right, Little Miss Sparkles. I hope you enjoy this video and congratulations to whoever won this um, in the auction for the Legion. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all soon. Bye y'all.